Hi, I'm Amelia Tamayo. Nine-year-old Sophie Cruz is recognized as one of the youngest activists for immigration reform. She was first recognized in the movement at age five when she delivered a handwritten letter to Pope Francis on behalf of all immigrants and their families. She was born in California to undocumented parents from Oaxaca, Mexico, and has since been invited to speak with President Obama during his presidency, to speak before the Supreme Court, and at the 2017 Women's March in Washington, D.C. In other news... The Valley has seen a few special new additions to its police forces in recent years. They have quickly become some of the most well-known officers because of their charisma and energy level. These are the dogs of the Valley's K-9 units, and although they are fun to play with, they also have a lot of responsibilities. We wanted to understand more about their responsibilities to the community and to their departments, so we went down to Amherst Police Department, where two new K-9 members have recently joined the force. Marvin actually came from Hungary. We tested things like we did environmental things, we banged on lockers, let him go on slippery floors, want him to go upstairs to see if th certain things startled him. We'd, we'd take a ball and we'd throw it in a giant pile of tires to see how long he would, he would hunt for it because we want a dog that has a strong work drive. When we found Marvin, we threw the ball in and he worked until he found the ball and that's kind of what we want for a police dog. Uh, every day he has to work, he's a working dog, so even on our days off we're doing something, we're doing obedience because he always needs that work. He's, he's a very, very high drive dog. We do regular patrol officer things. If, if there's a canine related call, then they'll respond to it. You know, people always recognize him. Uh, if I go to a store or something, or even the motor vehicle stop, people will be like, hey, are you the guy that has Marvin? Like, I see Marvin, he has a social media page on Instagram. Uh, so a lot of people know him through that, and, and they always ask how he is. One of the things I like most is like, say that a crime occurs and the suspect takes off. It's really nice to say, hey, we found the person that did this. Marvin tracked him down, and we found him. If it weren't for Marvin, then maybe he would have got away. So it's really nice to, if someone's afraid of something because someone showed up at their house and took off, it's nice to say, hey, Marvin found this guy, and you don't have to worry about that anymore. When we were training, they always say, trust your dog, trust your dog, trust your dog. So there was an incident down in South Amherst. So Marvin went there, and he found he found like a small ring that was ended up being some evidence. He alerted to it. So then I was like, all right, let's search for more evidence. So I told him to search, and he, he kept trying to go into the wood. He kept going. I was like, you know what? I should trust my dog. I thought maybe he smelt a rabbit or had to go to the bathroom in the woods or something. So I, just, I dropped my leash, and I let him go. He went into the woods, and then he was laying down behind a tree. I was like, oh, that's strange. So I went and looked, and he had found more evidence that we didn't know was even there. So that was one time I was really proud of him. Thanks for watching, and don't hesitate to pay Douglas a visit in Officer Wallace's office on the main floor. I'm Amelia Tamayo, and this has been In Other News. Bye!